Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about still life drawings. And this first video is going to be about how to set up a still life. I've gone to Google and put in still life drawings. And I want you to look at images of what other people have done. You can look at color images, black and white images, um, anything you like, something that has uh, a lot of shape, a lot of shading, uh, something that is super realistic, like this one. Uh, I'm, I'm really fascinated with this. There's great detail to the texture, and it's a very simple subject. It's a paper bag and a couple of onions and a piece of garlic. Um, there's, there's wonderful things you can do with very simple subjects. A lot of people like to do shoes and a glass object with some natural objects also makes for a good juxtaposition. Uh, pumpkins, there's still some pumpkins out there. You might be able to get some and there's always apples and other fruits available. Um, anything you find that appeals to you in shape, texture, color, uh, all of these things can make a wonderful subject matter. Now this, I'm going to get closer here, um, this picture with bottles and fruit and a champagne glass are really good because of the fact that glass is uh, transparent in this case translucent in these in the bottles cases and there's highlights and there's shading and depth that is shown and it's all pencil drawings um, a tennis ball is a good thing for just a, a beginner's choice now this one with ceramic and glass objects shows the difference between the the opaque and the transparent. A light bulb. Who would have thought of that? Um, a light bulb is a wonderful thing to draw. You can hardly even tell this is a drawing. So this is absolutely amazing here, what, what someone has done. I want you to look around your house, look around your yard, look around your grocery store. Find something that really appeals to you, something that has uh, texture, something that has warmth, something that has, oh, maybe something that gives you a bad habit. Um, whatever it is that means something to you, I want you to draw it. You're going to set it up and make a composition that appeals to the eye. Now, there's something you should know that artists use to keep the eye captured. You want to capture the eye of the person looking at it. And this one shows very well that there's a triangular formation here. And when you go from one subject to another to another and it keeps leading your eye back into the picture, that is the triangular focus that I'm talking about. See how the fold in this drape leads down to this light bulb, which points towards the glass, which leads back up to the folds in the fabric. So there's a triangular fixation here that is going to keep you captivated, making you look at more details. Think of that when you're setting up your still life. And in the very next video, I'm going to set up a still life and show you what I've done. And I will draw it. You draw either the same one that I set up or choose one of your own. And you can find images online of actual fruit and bottles instead of drawings if you don't have these happening around you in your home. Say, if you can't find any bottles, around your house. Go up here and write, let's see, glass bottles. And 
here we have images of glass bottles. Now I'm going to show you in case you're not familiar with how Google Images work. Um, if you find a, a group of bottles, we'll say this one, I have my cursor here. I'm going to click on it. Okay, now here's that image and here's some other images put up by the same person. And you click on this thing right here that says view image. Now it's nice and big. If you want to save this on your computer, you can right click your mouse and save image. See where it says save image as and it already says glass bottles and crafts so I'm going to save it that way. Now it's inside my computer. I don't have to search for this again. Okay, anytime I look at my own pictures, there it is. And I'll show you if I go up here where I have an arrow. It'll show you glass bottle and crafts and I can click on that and there it is. Uh, when it's on my computer I can zoom in, I can zoom out, I can push, I can do a lot of things with this image. I can go to fix the image and I can crop. I don't want to crop so I'm going to go back to how it was, uncropped, completely the same. Find an image in reality or find an image online and do your very best to show the shading, the translucence of glass, the transparency, one glass in front of the other. You can see them both right here. Let me get closer here. You can see both glasses right in this area. This one's lying down on its side. And this one's standing up. There's a lot of interest in here. There's different colors and clarities. And see how they overlap and it changes the color of the one in front. I want you to experiment. You can do it all in black and white. You can use color pencils or you can use oil pastels. Since it's your home that you're doing this in, you can use chalk pastels if you want to, but do watch out for the dust. Okay, that's the lesson for today, and we'll see about setting up a still life in my home. Have a good day.